Hello, dear students, and welcome to our English class. My name is Tatiana Buterac. My colleague, Snezhana Pavic, and I have created this lesson for you, but I will be your teacher today. This lesson is for grade four. The topic is road safety, and the title of the lesson is traffic lights. I hope you enjoy the time we spend together. At the end of today's lesson, you will be able to read and understand a text about road safety. You will also be able to listen to and understand a text about road safety, and you will be able to talk about pedestrian and cyclist safety. In today's lesson, you will need a notebook, a pencil, and a device with strong internet connection. Bear in mind that you can pause and play the video lesson again whenever you find it necessary to do so. Work at your own pace. All right, children, are you ready? Now let's begin with our lesson. I would like you to think for a moment and tell me all the things we have that make crossing streets safer. Now, what do we have that helps us stay safe in traffic? Now, let's see. That's right. We have a zebra crossing, we have a speed bump, we have traffic lights, and we have an underpass. Excellent. I have the same words as well. A zebra crossing, pieszczki prielas. A speed bump, leżeci policajs. Traffic lights, semafor. An underpass, podchodnik. Remember, all these things help us stay safe in traffic. Unfortunately, not everyone knows how to stay safe when crossing the street. Look at Jake. Where is he? What is he doing? Think for a moment. That's right. Jake is looking at his mobile phone. He isn't looking to see if there are any cars coming. Right again. He isn't crossing the street at the zebra crossing. He is jaywalking. Jaywalking means when you cross the street where you shouldn't. It's against the law. And finally, Jake isn't crossing the street carefully. He is running. Please, don't do these things, because this is wrong. Children, I want you to remember something. This is very important. Crossing the street can be very dangerous. That is why there are some special rules to follow to make sure you can cross the streets safely. Please follow these rules. Streets and roads have zebra crossings or crosswalks. They help you cross them. Always make sure you can see both ways when crossing a street or a road. You need to stop at the side of the street. Look and listen to see and hear if any vehicles are coming. Wait until any of the vehicles have passed. Then walk across the road. Don't run. Traffic lights are also very important. Remember, stop at the side of the street. Then push the button and wait for the green man to appear. Then look to the left, then look to the right, and look to the left again. 
you should only cross when all the traffic has stopped or when there is no traffic at all. Children, please pause the video lesson. Open your notebooks. I would like you to copy the following sentences in your notebooks. Circle true or false. Then read the text and check your answers. Don't forget to correct the false sentences. Here are the sentences that you need to copy. Number one, I should look left, then right, then left again before I cross. Number two, you can cross the street if a car is coming, but it looks like it's far away. Number three, weather can sometimes affect if a driver can see me. And number four, wear dark clothes when it rains or snows. And now, children, please pause the video lesson once again. Here is the text you need to read in order to be able to circle true or false in your sentences. Read it carefully. Ready? Now let's read. All right, children. Are you ready to check your answers? Let's begin. Sentence number one. I should look left, then right, then left again before I cross. That is true. Sentence number two. You can cross the street if a car is coming. But it looks like it's far away. Of course, this sentence is false. You need to wait for the car to pass. Sentence number three. Weather can sometimes affect if a driver can see me. That sentence is true. And finally, sentence number four, wear dark clothes when it rains or snows. Of course, this sentence is false. You need to wear bright colored clothes. Excellent, you did a great job, children. Well done. Children, now please pause the video lesson once again. You have read the text, and you have done the task. Let's read the text once again together. When you cross the road, you need to be safe. Many busy streets have traffic lights with a button you can push. When you push the button, wait for the green man to appear. You need to look to the left and right, and then again left to check there are no moving vehicles. Then you can cross the street. Some streets do not have traffic lights. When you want to cross the road where there are no traffic lights, stop. You need to look to the left, then the right, and then the left again. Wait until all the moving vehicles have passed. If you see a car coming, but it looks like it's far away, wait for it to pass. Look left, right, left again before crossing. You should never cross the street without checking that it is safe. Moving vehicles may not see you and you could get hurt. Remember that just because you can see them, drivers may not always see you. Sometimes crazy things happen and drivers cannot see us. The sunlight can shine on the windshield of the car so brightly that they can't see anything at all. If it rains or snows really hard, it can be difficult to see things. Wear bright colored clothes or reflective material or carry a flashlight to help drivers see you. Children, here is another activity for you. Please look at the words on the left side. A helmet, tires, brakes, the right hand side, a sidewalk, a bell, bright colored clothes, a light. Look at the pictures on the right side. Please match the words to the pictures. Take your time.
All right. Are you ready? Let's see. A helmet. Excellent. What about tires? Very good. Then we have brakes. Great job. Then we have the right hand side. That's correct. Now we have a sidewalk. Correct again. Then we have a bell. Excellent. Two more to go. Now we have bright colored clothes. That's right. And finally, we have a light. Excellent. Once again, you did a great job. Children, you were very good at matching the words with the pictures. Now I need you to read and complete the rules for cyclists to keep safe. You will need to use the words that we matched with the pictures in the previous activity. Ready? Let's begin. All right, now let's see your answers. Number one, what is the first rule? Correct, wear a helmet. Number two, that's right, check your tires and brakes. And what about the third rule for cyclists? Excellent, wear bright colored clothes or reflective material. And now we have rule number four. Yes, when cycling in the street, always ride on the right hand side, the same direction as the traffic. And the last rule? Correct. When cycling on a sidewalk, ring your bell to let the pedestrians know you are coming and always pass them on the left. Once again, you did an excellent job. Good for you. Dear students, I would like you to pause the video lesson once again. Open your notebooks. You're going to listen to a text about road safety. Listen carefully and then write down as many do's and don'ts as you can. In order to be able to listen to the text, please write bit.ly slash traffic lights for in your browser or you can use your QR code scanner. Are you ready? Excellent. Now let's start. All right. Now let's see. How many do's have you got? So this is what you do in traffic in order to stay safe. Look left, right, left. Look for green walk signal. Use a zebra crossing. Walk on the pavement. Show your hand while crossing the street. Help older and disabled people. And this is what you don't do in traffic. Do not play on the street. Do not cross the street when the vehicles are moving. Do not run on the streets. Do not use mobile phones while crossing the street. And do not listen to music. Pavement or sidewalk means pochnik. Sidewalk is used in North American English and pavement is used in British English. Congratulations, children. You did an excellent job. Now, children, it's your turn. Here we have a picture of a street. Look at it carefully and describe it. 
The following questions can help you. Can you play in the street? Where do you cross the street? What do you do when you want to cross the street? What do you do if you see a car coming, but it seems far away? What clothes do you wear? What do you have to check if you are a cyclist? What do you have to wear if you are a cyclist? You can use Vocaroo.com to record your description and then send this recording to your teacher. We have almost come to the end of this lesson. We have done a lot of work today. Can you describe how you learned this lesson? Let's use traffic lights. Red means that you don't understand this lesson. Yellow means that you are beginning to understand it. And green means that you really understand the lesson. This is the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, goodbye.